Dr. Andrea Puharic was the first American scientist to study Geller. Geller from friends in Israel who know about my interest in parapsychology, and I've always kind of had the reputation of finding unusual people and studying them rather than studying, you know, kind of normal populations. And so I went over to uh, look at Ori Geller in, I believe I got to Israel August 17, 1971, and I spent a week with him. And he was very cooperative, I must say, and uh, I set up a little laboratory in Tel Aviv that friends let me have part and got equipment. And in a week, I was quite convinced that Ori really was extraordinary. And uh, from then on, I started organizing a major research program around Ori, which, you know, is still going on. Fairly mature now, yeah. Mm. Was that the first time you'd ever seen uh, psychokinesis? No, I'd actually uh, seen different levels of psychokinesis. In 1953, I saw under laboratory conditions materialization of objects. I was studying a Hindu by the name of Dr. Vinod at that time. And subsequently, I saw dematerialization of physical objects. And then in Brazil in 63, I saw all kind of unusual uh, manipulation of, of tumors and things in people through a healer called Arigo. So I, I saw a lot of this before, but I'd never actually seen it so repeatable and controllable as in Ori. Mm -hmm. That was really the difference. Well, uh, under some uh, circumstances, uh, still uh, Ori has trouble with these powers, like uh, on, a, on a Johnny Carson show, or when he feels that someone's trying to set a trap for him, or if he feels yes, I don't hostility. Mean, yeah, I don't mean Sometimes that, well, it'll... Uh, yeah. I don't mean to imply he has total control now. Uh -huh. He but just he more, more more repeatable than anybody had ever seen. Uh -huh. uh, and those factors you cite are true. If he gets nervous, uptight in front of an audience like Johnny Carson, or if people are hostile, he figures, why in the hell should I show you anything? He really doesn't care, and he doesn't do mm -hmm. it. And he'll never show anything to a magician that publicly. But in Israel, I used to follow him around in his public shows, particularly in the army. And he'd be on what we, it's the same as we have here called USO shows. And they'd have magicians and singers and, you know, the chippy and the, the band and the whole trip. And Ori would, would work with the magicians, just we're bumping along on trucks in the Sinai Desert. And Ori was like a little kid being amazed at the magician's tricks. And then Ori would show what he does to the magician. The magician was absolutely aghast because he knew it wasn't a trick, you know. But that was, you know, informal friendly circumstances, but in this country where he's been under such severe attack by <laughs> the magicians that they're on his verboten list, he won't uh, show them anything. 